Now, what we're going to do really quick is we're going to go to the market. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up an execution system here. So I want to show you exactly, you know, we're going to go from point Z before we go to point A. So let me go out there and share something with all of you. Hold on a second. Um, going to bring this up really quick over here. Now, what you see right here, fellow traders, is um, just give you just give me a second here. And we have a couple of stocks that are moving this morning that did pretty well. Uh, VT, but by the way, anyone see this stock right now? This VT uh, YX this morning. Did anybody catch on to it to see the stock trade this morning? Just let me know. Just looking at something here. No one saw this stock. Nobody traded the stock VTYX. Really? Okay. Well, have you ever seen a stock go up and it went from $3, you know, right at the pre-market and shot up to seven? Now you're probably asking yourself, how did that stock go from three to seven? Now, some of you have been trading here for a long time. And I'm going to ask you, you tell me, how would, why would that happen? What would drive a stock to go up literally almost 100% in, in, in less than 30 minutes? Does anybody have an answer? Give me a yes or no. Bill, you don't know. Mike, you don't know. John, you know. Okay. Phil says news. Andrew doesn't know. Samir knows. What is it? What, what drive this thing go up? What made it go up? All right. Now, if you can't answer this question, I'm going to tell you something very important. You should quit trading. And please don't take this a bad way, but there's a very big failure rate in trading. And you obviously don't want to be part of that big failure rate. And what, and so, but the answer is, which I hope everybody could agree with me, it's buying and selling. That's it. Supply and demand. That's the only reason. Yes, there's probably news, Albert, and everything else. But regardless of the news, sometimes you're like, is that really good news? You know, like, is it really? I thought it was bad news. And it's like, wait a minute. Was it that great of a news that made the stock go up that much? Well, the only person that it matters to is the people on the street. Okay, the market makers, the algorithms, the high-frequency trades, all those. And now what you're looking over here is orders. Now, let me just get my crayons on here so you can follow along um, right here. There you go. So you can see my little pointer here. All right. So you can see right here that this stock, if I drew a trend line, you'll notice that you got big support levels here. You got resistance levels here, you know, all the way up there and wherever it may be. And what really you need to focus on, um, and let me get my crayons out here too. Uh, okay, there we go. Is this. You got to focus on this, 22,000 shares, 11,000 shares, 15,000 shares. You need to look at these big, big, big block orders, okay? Because that's what makes what we call support and resistance levels. Now, obviously, you could see where there was big resistance levels here, but you're like, okay, why was the resistance levels at six? Well, you could see that you got 8,000 share sellers, 27 orders out there. These are what make supports and resistance levels, buying and selling. I'll do one more. All right. By the way, anyone want me to look at any stock out there? Anyone out there want me to look at a stock? Uh, Tesla? Okay, I'll look at that one because people, that's like a very popular stock. Let's look at Tesla. All right. And I want to bring up Tesla up over here. So you could see Tesla, right, had a pretty big resistance levels here today, just right below 200, right? Does everybody see that? Big, big resist. Stock popped this morning, went to 200, and then came back down. Now, um, I can't really see the orders here. Let me change this to a little bit lower. So I'm going to go 90. And if you notice, hmm. Right around 200. You see the last person on the bottom of the totem pole? There's 56,000 shares are going to be sold. There's 1,235 orders out there. Now, there are sellers, 1,000 shares, 12,000, 15,000. There are sellers everywhere. And what you're looking at 
fellow traders, on the left-hand side, this is a seat on the exchange. You're seeing every single buyer and every single seller out there. Now, let's think about it. How much smarter and better trading decisions if you were able to see all these buyers and sellers out there? Wouldn't that be great? And how about this? How about I introduce you to something at level four? How about if you were able to see the reason why that big 200 share seller was not really 56,000, but maybe it was somebody on the New York Stock Exchange, CBOE, whatever it is. There was over 117,000 shares out there, 200. And he's been out there since 9.30 this morning. Now let's ask yourself this question, fellow traders. How many do you hear are in a position and see those 117,000 share sellers and buyers out there. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made if you were able to see those orders out there? That's what separates you from you know, being a, a, a follower versus a leader. And the leaders are the people who are trading the most amount of shares. And that's what we're about to learn. I'm a cyber group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.